I wasn't born far from here. So I'm in Camperdown, right? The city's that way. Um, I was born just over here in a place called Stanmore um, in one of the old um, hospitals that used to litter <laughs> really the area. And, uh, and I was born 61 years ago. And um, we, we started our earlier life here in the inner west and then moved out to southwestern Sydney to a place called Reesby. Um, and my parents were, um, you know, part of that baby boom sort of thing. Um, my father served in World War II. Uh, my mum was a little bit younger. She lost her dad in World War II. He, he died fighting uh, the Japanese up in um, New Guinea. Um, and he was part of, a, you know, the, the Navy, you know, through a merchant marine small ships program that was conducted by the US in collaboration with the Australians. So, you know, these are people that were always, um, you know, very strong with their idea of service. They were both Aboriginal people. My mum um, is a, a woman who um, never identified as Aboriginal. She used to say that her mum was a Maori. Um, her mum was, in fact, a Maori princess, she would say. Um, and there would always be this wonderful story. And of course, you know, there's no Maori blood there, as far as I can tell. But in fact, her mother was born third tree from the left on a small island in the beautiful Clarence River on the northern New South Wales coast. Um, my father's people are Wiradjuri people and so I identify as a Wiradjuri woman. That's from beautiful downtown Wagga Wagga, so I don't know if anyone's coming from that place, but it's God's own land, uh, really, um, just saying. Um, but uh, yeah, so I, I grew up in southwestern Sydney and it was a pretty ordinary home life, I have to say. You know, my father was definitely at the effect of his war injuries. He, um, they called it shell shock in the day, um, PTSD, we would call it today. Um, he got a job along with many other service people, you know, working um, as a fitter and turner. Uh, part of his work was to get inside big tanks and spray this white stuff as a heat insulator inside tanks. And of course, they'd come home with their overalls on and he'd shake his overalls off on the ground and us kids would play in it. And that stuff was called asbestos. It's fantastic stuff, you know, it was heat resilient. You could just do anything with it. The whole house was built out of asbestos. We used asbestos on our cooker and we played in it. Anyhow, my father died of asbestosis um, a couple of decades ago. And